Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Let's return to Vyar's Castle and go into Vyar's Castle, then, in the Blessed Court. Wow! This is a pretty nice place! With no furniture. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. What vase? Fool! That makes us petty thieves! With the statue? I can't disgrace the name of the Overlord. I have to be impartial and... Impartial and... what? Plunder everything! What are you, a pirate? Oh, that's our prince! You're so ruthless! That's the next game. Hey there, you atrocious fiend! I think. You cold-blooded monster! <laughs> what are you, a cheerleader? A demon among demons! Uh, you're not, uh... Well, yeah, you're not a cheerleader. Quit complimenting me so much. It's embarrassing. Now listen up. I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle. Pillage sounds like a plan to me. Aye, aye, dude. It's a good magic card. Ha! <laughs> uh, I love the Harl's laugh. I hope you like it too, viewers, because we're going to be hearing a lot of it. Okay, so, first things first. We got these uh, level 1 demons here. Pretty easy to uh, take out. So, let's have Laharl and Etna take out those two. And then I'll have my Brawler and Warrior take out the other two. One thing about uh, the Spear is that it has a range of 2, and you can hit diagonally with it. So I could hit that other enemy there, but I wouldn't do a team attack with that one, or at least... I wouldn't have the potential to do that. So you want to make sure you're targeting the one in front of you, in, or adjacent to you, in order to uh, do that. Even though you could hit diagonally if you really wanted to. So, first things first. Well, we got to get these guys out of the way. Maybe my brawler will uh, counterattack or do something. Wait for it. There we go. Good job. How did you get poisoned? Does my spear have poison on it? Oh, I wonder if that's what the alchemist thing does. I don't know all the specialists off the top of my head. Let's use our impaler ability. Uh, we learned that by getting up to level 1 spear mastery. Now, I want to move Etna and Laharl forward, but they can't uh, get far ahead enough. You see these yellow uh, panels there? You got defense plus 50% and attacks plus 1. What attacks plus one means is, well, whenever you attack, you do one more of it. So, that's pretty nice. So, we want to get Laharl and Etna up there. I don't want to put my Brawler or Warrior up there, because the enemies there will kill you, even with the defense plus 50%. You see there's a Brawler and Warrior up in the back there? Yeah, th those guys will really hurt you. So... Laharl and Etna have the defense to withstand their attacks. So that's why I keep them around. So let's see what I can do here. Um, let's see if I can take out that brawler there. Well, not quite, but one more ought to do. The nice thing is that with the tax plus one is that I can take all my turns before the enemies can't can even have a chance to counterattack. Do I have no, no, okay. I was gonna see if I had another ability yet, but uh no, no, not quite yet. Uh let's see. Hmm. I wanna get my brawler and warrior up there, but I don't want them to get killed by their warrior. And we've already taken a little bit of damage, so uh you know what? Let's stand pat for now. Let the warrior come to us. Take it easy. There we go. Okay, okay. We're still good. We're still good. Let's see. Why not use your uh, boulder crush on that guy? Yeah, now unfortunately, attack plus one doesn't work with uh, special abilities. But, uh, let's see. Okay, so now, let's uh, back up there. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's put my brawler there. I would like to try and get my brawler and warrior some experience by killing the big guy there. Yes! Okay, there we go. Good call. Let's see if I can't uh, hit that other guy. 
One other thing that's kind of interesting about this game is that you can attack through your own party members, or even through monsters, if you want. So, unlike Final Fantasy Tactics, where if someone was in the way with a ranged attack, uh, you wouldn't be able to hit them, in this game, you can! So, let's, uh... Let's see, let's bring my warrior there. I want to try and draw the enemies to me. So, um... Yeah, why don't you do that? You do Impaler on that guy. There we go. Now, she's taking a bit of damage, so what I want to do is send Maharl here. I want you to defend, so that way you don't counterattack. But if my brawler does, I'm not really worried about that. Just want to be careful. Okay, okay, we're still good. We're still good. See, I think Etna should be able to kill that guy, or hit, damage that guy, without actually killing it. There we go. Good, good. Now, let, I'm just trying to share the experience, because I really want to get my Brawler and Warrior more so up to speed on their level there. Okay, so you stay there. You stay there. Let's see, I don't want my Warrior to uh, be hurting, so let's move the Harl there to block the enemy from actually getting to me. Do that. Counter. Okay. Now a couple attacks ought to uh, do the job there. I'd like to get my Brawler and Warrior up to level 3 if I can. If they're not already. They might be. I don't know. I uh, kind of wasn't looking at that. But... Well, there we go. So let's see how we're doing. Yeah, they're already at level 3. Good, good. I'd like to get them up to level 4 with the next battle. And, uh, well, you know what? We got a little bit of time. Let's, let's do another battle. Why not? Let's heal up here. See how we're doing. Okay, now you see how my spe spell power at the bottom there is 46? There's going to be a prize that we can get at 50. But I don't want to go through another battle to finish that one off. So here's a little trick you can do. You see how Laharl has 31 spell power? Remove the item. Re-equip it. Now I can heal again and get the item that I want. Uh, you can do this over and over and over again to get like some really obscene equipment. But I'm not going to abuse it that much. I'm only going to use it if I've if I'm reasonably close to already uh, getting a new item there. Here's another trick too. If you go into the Get Treated menu and then claim the prize, you can just do that over and over again to get the right uh, specialist that you want. You don't have to leave the entire hospital. I did not know that. One of my viewers told me that. So uh, thanks a lot. I just don't quite know everything about the game. So I'm just gonna keep on doing this over and over and over again. Off or I could do it now and get the Arms Masters on screen. There you go. Another specialist that you may want to look out for is Teacher on the orbs, because Teacher boosts your intelligence, and I'm going to be giving those to my magic users later on down the road. But right now, well, I just don't uh, have any magic users, and well, you don't really need magic right now. I'm going to wait a couple episodes before uh, doing that, so... But, all right, there we go. Let's head on to the Corridor of Love. Oh. Tunnel of Love? Close enough. Okay, so, first things first. We want to take out these two losers. So, let's put Laharl there. Etna there. Now, we want to do some team attacks here. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, how is team attack percentage determined? Well, there's a few things that influence it. Um, I don't know exactly how they work. But I have a general idea. Let's see if I can finish that one off. Yeah! Alright! Oh, but now you can't move. That's... Um, okay, well, anyway. Uh, the way team attacks work is... I know a couple things that influence it. Like, if you're a pupil of the character doing the team attack, you'll have a better chance of, well, doing a team attack. Uh, also, if you have the same weapon type, you'll have a better chance of doing a team attack. So, like, if I had everyone using swords, like in that preview episode, that that would have worked, too. But, well, I'm not doing that now, obviously. I'm trying to spread out the different weapon types, because weapons determine what abilities uh, you get. So, 
Uh, let's see now. Now, you see that archer there? Archers have a range of three. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, I want to put Laharl there. And I'm just going to have him defend because he can't counterattack from range. But I also want to make sure the archer doesn't go around this way, too. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, say just out of range of the archers there. Uh, yeah, why don't you back up there? There we go. One thing you notice down here, you got this recovery pool down here that restores 40% of your max HP per round. Uh, there is an enemy down there, but I wouldn't worry about it because he'll never do anything. He'll just stay in the pool all day and he'll never attack you for some reason. I don't know why, but well, there we go. Uh, you could destroy the geo symbols for the recovery, but I don't think that's worthwhile. So, how close are we? Not that close. I was hoping we'd have the next ability by now, but well, apparently not. Don't worry about it. Okay, Laharl should go after the two archers here. Keep them busy while we go after this guy. There we go. Triple attack. All right. Now, let's see. I don't want this guy to aggro, or this girl to aggro. Okay, so they can go about that far, so move a little closer, but I don't want to move too close. Uh, let's just start with that for now. I'm going to wait until Laharl can uh, take out the archers there. Ooh! Thank you for lining up for my blade rush. Single file! Yeah, I don't even have to move, either. That makes life a lot easier. Yeah, the archers are pretty dangerous a bunch, so... Okay, so... Now, I could attract the archer's attention. You know what? Let's just wait another round. Let's just pass it for now. By the way, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys also is uh, character abilities. Now that I got Laharl up to level 5, I've learned Blazing Knuckle. That's a character ability. Uh, Storyline characters will learn abilities at level 5, 20, and 50. So, just something to keep in mind there. It also does not contribute to your weapon growth. So, you want to be a little careful with that. Uh, let's see. Etna, how far can you go, Etna? Okay, yeah, let's do that. You go there. You go there. And how are you doing on HP? Yeah, you know what? Actually, you back up. You go there to use the recovery pool. And I will go there. And why don't you defend, because you're rather weak there. I want to watch out for the mage in the back there, too. Safe. I'm not really worried about um, the other guys. Although, the Harl is taking a little bit of a beat there. So, hmm. Can I... Yeah, you know what? Let's take out the mage first. I could use Blade Rush on the two back there, but I'm not really worried about that for now. Oh, and I kind of noticed on my menu, I went through there real quickly. I've learned Hurricane Slash. That's another really good ability. Okay, so let's just stay there. Probably a uh, team attack ought to do. But you never know. By the way, one thing I just wanted to uh, mention to you guys, because uh, this game does have quite a reputation for being a really, really big grind fest. And, well, it's not entirely undeserved. But, uh, I've... Uh, organize the game, or the way I'm going to approach the game, to such an extent that, um, I mean, there will be some grinding, but I am really going to mi mitigate it, so I wouldn't worry about that, if that's a concern of yours. I'm going to be grinding, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes at a time. I'm not going to, like, be going, like, some people say, oh, you need to play hundreds of hours to beat the game. No, no, you do not need to do that. Don't worry about it. Let's see if I can, uh... Do something with my... Yeah, let's get you out of there. You start healing. Laharl? Let's see. Well, if I don't kill the guy, I'll be close. I would like my brawler to get the kill if I can. No, that's not going to happen. Oh, well. But anyway, okay. So let's now get everyone down here. That guy will never do anything. I'm not going to bother attacking because he'll just recover all of his HP anyway. So, 
Oh, but there's a problem with being in that recovery pool. Now I'm not going to, uh... Yeah, now I'm not going to be able to, uh... Oh, well, Laharl can still... But I was going to, like, re restore my HP at the hospital there. But now I can't. Oh, well. Let's see if I can't share some of the experience here. Or not. Okay. Well, actually, that's probably good, because I want my brawler to get the level if I can. Come on! Aw, oh, man. Oh, well, you almost got the level there, but... Well, it looks like we're in pretty good shape. But how will we prepare for the Lord of the Castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!